Hi, my name is Skylar Byrne, and this is my engineering story. So, I grew up from a young age, kind of knowing what engineering was, but having a really stereotypical view of it. You see, my father was a civil engineer, so it's great that I actually knew that an engineer was a profession that existed, but because of the messaging I got around engineering, when I'd ask him, what do you do every day at work, Dad? He would tell me something along the lines of, oh, I plot boundary lines on a map, or I stand in a field and find boundary lines. And that, I'm sure, is really interesting to some people, um, but for me that sounded really boring. So from a young age, I pretty much knew I wasn't going to be an engineer. I always wanted to do a career that would help make a difference in the world, so I always considered maybe I'll be a doctor or a lawyer or some kind of marine conservationist or something that will help the planet. Um, and I really didn't see this fitting into engineering whatsoever. Um, despite me saying I wasn't going to be an engineer, one of my fondest memories as a kid is I would find different substances around the house like lotions and food coloring and my mom's makeup and I would make little potions in my room and I just love mixing things together and I did not realize how much I like chemistry but I was so fascinated by that at the time. On top of that, I was interested in a lot of other things that regular kids were interested in. Like, I was really into dance and soccer at the time, and there was really big parts of my life. Going into high school, my love for math and science continued as they were my favorite subjects, and I went into a few science fairs. One of the science fairs I went to, two professors from the university did a little demo, and they did all of these science experiments, mostly around chemistry, and I remember I was so fascinated by it. I came home that day and I was like, I want to be a chemist when I grow up. I still didn't really know what that was, I just knew when they put various gases in balloon and let balloons and let them on fire, that was like my favorite thing in the world. But I was very set on staying in something in STEM fields at least at that point. At this point my friends started considering our career options and some of my friends were going into engineering and it wasn't until they started doing this that I maybe started to consider it too. Despite considering it, I decided to go into kinesiology in my first year at University of Alberta because um, I really liked dance and soccer and they were still a huge part of my life and I really did like biology, so that is where I started. It only took me two weeks to realize that kinesiology was not for me when I dropped out of first year anatomy and realized it was kind of the basis of my degree. Um, but with all this free time, I was able to take a lot of electives at my first year university and something that stuck out is I still really liked chemistry, physics, and math as my favorite subjects. After talking to some, floor, some of my floor mates who are female engineering students, they told me about all the possibilities and career options in engineering and how broad it was and how it wasn't this limiting thing I had my mindset on. So knowing this and also kind of liking the idea of having a career with job and financial stability, I decided to transfer to the University of New Brunswick and started a degree in chemical engineering. Now when I started this degree in chemical engineering, I still kind of had this mindset that I wouldn't really be able to make an impact in the world, and I just had to kind of give up on that dream that I could do anything to change the world. It was unrealistic, and that was kind of my mind going, mindset going into it. I just kind of accepted that I would have a regular, mundane, repetitive job that I so much dreaded having when I was a child. Um, but Going through my degree, I discovered various clubs, one of them being Engineers Without Borders. And this club really helped me see that there's like a safe space for engineering and development and that there are things you can do with your engineering degree that aren't just super engineering related. I didn't realize that you could have such a big impact in international development as an engineer and just using the mindset and the base that you get from an engineering degree, you can, have, you can do so many things. I also realized how much engineering helps change the world and how many lives it helps save and how much of an impact engineering actually has on the world even though it's often not recognized as so. And knowing this, it's made me feel like in engineering I can make more of an impact and I'm not necessarily going to have a repetitive and mundane job just because I did an engineering degree. And knowing this, I'm very happy to be going into my third year of chemical engineering at University of Brunswick still and I think I'm in the right place too.